Russian soldiers are supplied with Viagra to rape Ukrainian women and dehumanize them, claims UN official. A UN official told AFP Russian soldiers are being supplied with Viagra to rape Ukrainian women. Pramila Patton, the UN special representative on sexual violence, says it's clearly a military strategy. She said that the UN had verified more than 100 rapes or sexual assault cases since Russia invaded Ukraine. Well, it turns out that's bullshit, of course. That's called oh. war propaganda. So it turns out it's a lie. R Russia using rape as military strategy in Ukraine, that's a lie. Look, there it is. CNN reports it's kind of a it. bad strategy, you know? Yeah. Uh, and here's from Max Blumenthal. The entire Western media and Slava really? promoted a UN envoy's claim that Russian soldiers were on a Viagra-fueled rampage in Ukraine. The UN envoy now admits she had no proof and was influenced by an ex-Ukrainian official who's confessed to lying. <laughs> in the, so guess guess what? They're recycling this. They did this in Libya. So in the, in the lead-up to the NATO intervention in Libya, U.S. ambassador to the UN, Susan Rice, claimed that the Libyan government was giving soldiers Viagra to sexually assault. No, why did 19 year old soldiers need by hard on pills? That, they also that doesn't it, make sense. So this yeah. is what they use to, to justify intervention. So they they, 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 this is the old playbook. Here's what the woman from the UN said. She was in an interview with a France, French news agency. And she said, all the indications are there. When women, when women are held for days and raped, when you start to rape little boys and men, when you see a series of genital mutilations, when you hear women testify about Russian soldiers equipped of Viagra, it's clearly a military strategy the UN envoy confidently proclaimed. And now here she is at November 10th. They say to her, hey, do you have any proof of the Russian rape thing with the Viagra? Do you have any proof of this that you've been spreading this lie? And here's what she says. I, I, ask, I ask you because you know that uh, Russians also try to uh, post it as a fake because you know that there's a very problem. Uh, so I would like to ask you, did they provide you any proof of uh, no, it was no, a no, 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 like, uh, I, I don't like I said, uh, it's not my role. No, no proof. She just said it. No, no, they no proof. And then she she's going to explain why they don't have any proof. She goes, it's not my role to have proof to go and investigate. Mm -hmm. I sit in New York in an office in New York and I have an advocacy and I have an advocacy mandate. Oh, great. My role is not to investigate. The investigation is going on by the U Human Rights Monitoring Team and the International Commission of Inquiry. In their report so far, there is nothing about about Viagra. So why are you saying that then? So why? But, but there it is, her saying it. It's clearly a military strategy. And she said, but but and where did she get this from? She got this from this woman. Oh, the one that got fired. Ukrainian ombudsman it. fired for dozens of fake reports about Russian military raping kids. Today, Patton, that, that's this woman. Patton is this woman, the woman who spread, the, spread the lie. Today, Patton occupies a UN position created by Hillary Clinton, where she recycles baseless regime change narratives from over a decade ago to fuel the latest intervention charade in Washington. That's from Gray Zone. Uh, there it is today. Pat, there it is today. Pat knocked about U.S. position created by Hillary Clinton, where she recycles these kind of baseless claims.